Thank you, Alex and Christine. Welcome to Goodnight LA simulcast on Fox 11 Plus, formerly known as KCOP Channel 13. I'm Marla Tellez. We are so glad you, that you are with us for the second week of our newest newscast. We begin tonight again with the rain. It is still falling in certain parts around Southern California, and it is still taking a toll. Fox 11's Ed Lascos, he kicks us off tonight in Brentwood, where power is still out, and it will remain out for some time, Ed. Yeah, that's pretty much the point at this late hour, Marla. They're still working here, uncertain when they'll have all the juice back on, the power back on here. The only certainty is repair crews will be here until everything is finished. Quick look with Joe Bundy Drive. We're looking north. We're north of Sunset around the bend. That is where we have all the damage. I am talking major damage here. To the video we go, check it out. DWP bringing in the heavy equipment the last couple of hours, some 30 or so repair crews here. They will be at it. And they've got quite a job. All of this as a 30-foot a tall you eucalyptus tree actually splits in two. One side falls back into the yard and wooded area, but it's the other side that falls on the Bundy Drive, taking down the poles, taking down the wires. Look at this mess. Some of these utility poles snapped in a couple of pieces. Big, thick wiring that carries the electricity up here through Bundy. Brakes snaps like, like string. And the neighbors heard it and saw it. Some of them say they saw the big flash from the transformers and the wires, and others say they heard the sizzling of the electricity on the wires. Listen. It just sounded like a sizzle. About six in the morning, I saw the flashes from the electric pole and um, went outside to check, and the whole thing had fallen over into the middle of the street. We called 911. When I saw two large flashes, and it looked like I thought it was a lightning strike, and um, then the power went out, immediately went out. And now you're looking live, and the power is still out here some, oh, I think about 12 hours or so. And again, it may be right through the night. Best estimate, maybe sometime tomorrow. The mayor at last point said about 6,600 citywide without power. Most of them here in the Brentwood area, mid-Wilshire area, Koreatown also having their outages as well as the work, the repair work goes on. For now, we're live here in Brentwood. Back to Good Night L.A. All right, and thanks so much. Well, tonight, L.A. Fire Chief Kristen Crowley says there have been 475 mudslides in the city. One of those happened in Encino and left two homes red tagged. It was a lot of land moving. I'm, I'm assuming there's at least 30 to 50 tons worth of, of soil that moved onto the next house below. Yeah, Monday night, mud and debris slid from under the foundation of one home at the top of a hill and then landed in the home below. The home at the top was vacant. The family in that home at the bottom left before fire crews arrived. They're not hurt, but they cannot go back home for a while. Another scene of devastation in Hacienda Heights. I just heard the, like a big bang and sound like the like sound of an avalanche. It came down in once and then, then, then another two or three times. More mud came down until it just covered the whole entire backyard. Oh, we feel for you, Wendy. The mud and debris blowing apart this home when it came crashing through a wall Tuesday morning. The flow slowed down, but that hillside is still moving very slowly tonight. And the concern is more mud is going to flow into this home. Firefighters are keeping an eye on the area in case they have to evacuate more people from this neighborhood. A home in the Beverly Crest area has been destroyed, leading to a large-scale cleanup effort. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards continues our coverage. She's live from Beverly Beverly Glen now with more details for us. Chelsea. Marla, we're right off of Beverly Glen Boulevard, just near Beverly Glen Place. And take a look at this mess. We're not far from that area that you're talking about here, but look at this. You've got tree branches still in the roadway, lots of debris, a thick casing of mud going all the way down the street, mud and water still trickling down. And as you mentioned, there have been 475 mudslides reported in L.A. since the start of this storm. This is one of the smaller ones. Crews worked tirelessly throughout the day just trying to dig out. Take a look at some of this video. So tree removal companies, they brought in heavy equipment to help try to clear some of the harder hit streets like Caribou Lane. That's where that house slid off its foundation onto the ground below. Now cleanup crews fanned out across the hills of Beverly Crest in the Beverly Grove areas, raking, scooping mud, dumping debris as the rain continued to fall throughout the day. There's still a lot of work left to do here. And some residents say they're actually most concerned about the potential aftermath of this storm. Listen here. Worse for me is afterwards when, um, like, the roads are just damaged and have potholes and stuff because I, like, popped my tire on one last year. So it's not really right now that's so difficult, but um, kind of how quickly it gets back in shape afterwards. 
Yeah, and a lot of residents having that on their minds today. Now, as you can see now, the rain has stopped for the moment, but these hills so saturated, any little bit can bring them down and cause one of a similar mudslide like this. Again, 475 mudslides reported in the city of Los Angeles since the storm started. So we'll have to see what the aftermath is going to be like in the following days and weeks. Uh, officials just reminding everyone, keep an eye on your neighbors and just stay vigilant throughout these coming days and weeks. That's the latest from Beverly Glen. I'm Chelsea Edwards. Marla. I'll send it back to you. And also 400 down trees, almost 400 down trees. Yeah. Chelsea, thanks so much. Rescue officials constantly warn people to stay away from washes and rivers during a storm. The reason why played out this afternoon in Moreno Valley. And there was like a little ramp right there that goes into the water. And he was like waiting on the boogie board like, no, don't do that. Not a good idea. Three boys aged 11 to 13 were on boogie boards when they were swept away in a storm channel in Moreno Valley. This happened just before 430 on Cottonwood Avenue and Dillbeck Drive. Riverside Sheriff's deputies and Cal Fire pulled everyone from the canal. One child was taken to the hospital with a minor injury while the others were not hurt. Thank goodness. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Jonathan Novak. When will this rain end, Jonathan? Yikes. Uh, well, the answer to your question is for the most part it's ending now at least uh, the large areas of, of moderate to heavy rain we've had nearly 14 inches in some places Lytle Creek to Pangak Bel Air and Woodland Hills had around the 13 inch mark for the rainfall totals you can see the bulk of the activity from earlier now to the east although there's some moderate and heavy rain in the high desert but now it's mainly snowfall in fact earlier some snow on the five and so in the morning that might be an issue keep that in mind definitely stay tuned and check in for your morning commute about the five and other areas for travel this is kind of the nature of the rain we could see for your wednesday morning here and there light showers however the bad news marla folks is that by tomorrow night we get one more last batch of rain moving into the area and that could cause additional problems but at least the big storm has moved out for now back to you okay very good Jonathan thanks a man becomes a real-life superhero when he rescues a couple trapped inside an overturned car after just a terrifying crash in Lake Elsinore Fox 11 Gina Silva she's live with a story you'll see only on good night LA Gina Marla, that accident was captured on video, and so were the heroic actions of the person who witnessed it. Take a look at that footage. It happened around 11 in the morning. Thomas Cavoyan and his partner, William Solis, of Copier Delivery Systems, were on the southbound 15 freeway in Lake Elsinore when an SUV hydroplaned and flipped off the side of the freeway, landing upside down in a wash. William and Thomas pulled off to the side, and Thomas rushed out to help the couple. I did not think that I was going to run down and see conscious people. I don't, like, it, they didn't, they were going to be like near dead or dead. And I went down there and it, into the river and stuff. And I looked down, the guy's looking at me like, I was like, you okay? He's like, yeah, good, good, good. And despite the vehicle rolling several times and landing upside down, the couple was just fine. They were able to walk away from this. They thanked Thomas, and they all went their separate ways. Of course, Thomas Marla says if you are driving in this weather when it's raining, just take it slow. You don't want to end up in an accident. Wow. I'll send it back to you in the studio. That is quite the moment when he's yawning one, mo one moment, and then the next thing you know, he sees this happen, and he jumps in. What a man he is. All right, Gina, thanks yeah. so much.